Uh, what's going on folks chef london back with another video before we jump into the video today folks do me a favor hit that like hit that subscribe button um also folks i'm going to leave the most important tip at the back end of the video really short video today but the most important tips are going to be at the back end so you want to watch this all the way through all right and also folks if, if you found this video helpful just do me a favor hit that like button drop a little comment let me know that you found this helpful um giving you free good information in return i just ask that you just give me some feedback and you like the video i think that's fair all right, folks, let me start the video off by saying that abs aren't as complicated as people make it seem. And anybody, I mean, anybody can get abs. Unless you have some type of medical issue, you have some type of thyroid issue, anybody on the planet can get ripped. And it's not that hard. And I got ripped. And I'm just a regular dude. I don't have good genetics. I'm actually, naturally, I probably would say I have poor genetics, right? I was a fat kid. Um... I have alcoholism in my family. I got all types of uh, high blood pressure. You, so you could go as far as saying I have poor genetics. So, and I was able to do it. And I was a fat kid, then I was a skinny kid, and then I learned how to exercise and I got in really good shape. I say that to say anyone can get abs. Now, here's the thing. It's not that complicated. None of this stuff is that complicated. People just make it seem complicated. It's actually really simple. Now, tip number one, ab exercise. Everybody thinks you should be doing sit-ups, push uh, sit-ups, all these different ab exercises. I'm guilty of that. When I was trying to get abs years ago, I, was, I did every ab exercise you could think of to the point where I even strained my abdomen. Like I couldn't do movements. I could barely bend over because I was just doing too many ab exercises. And then I learned that that was stupid and that you, you shouldn't waste your time doing ab exercises, right? You'll get more benefit from squeezing your stomach as you're doing a deadlift or as you're doing a, a goblet squat or front squat any exercise. So basically you want to squeeze your abs as you're exercising really tight. And that will give you more benefit than doing an ab sculpting exercise, than doing a crunch or some type of bicycle kick. That will be way better than that. And this isn't my thoughts, man. This is just what the research shows, right? And it blew my mind when I found that out. So that's tip number one. And I'm a trainer, man. And back in the day when I first started, I would throw in these little ab exercises because when you do do ab exercises, you feel it. You'll feel the burn. You'll feel that lactic acid build up, and it makes you feel like you're working towards something. Where the truth of the matter is, I no longer do that anymore, by the way. Rarely, rarely do I do that. But the truth of the matter is, is that you can get more bang for your buck by just squeezing your stomach throughout the whole workout. All right, so that's tip number one. Focus on squeezing your stomach really tight while you're working out. Tip number two is that abs, and I've spoke about this all the time, but you could do, you could squeeze your stomach all day and night. You could do ab exercises all day and night. But if you have too much body fat on your body, you're not going to see your abs, all right? So focus on getting your body fat percentage down if you fall into that category, which you probably do because most Americans fall into that overweight category. So focus on getting your body weight down. You do that through diet. You do that through cardio. You do that through weight training. I got other videos on that. Just scroll through the channel. Tip number three. Um, doesn't mean that ab exercises are bad, man. Like you can do some ab exercises. Like I do some ab exercises on occasion. So I'll do, um, my favorite one that I like to do are leg lifts. We just hang from the bar and I lift my legs up. I come back down. Now that's more of an advanced movement. Um, so you don't have to do that. Another one you could do are leg lifts when you're laying on the ground. Another really good ab exercise is a plank. A plank is a really awesome ab exercise as well. Those are solid ab exercises that will help increase your abdominal strength. The takeaway from this video is that ab exercises aren't bad. If you wanna really be effective, you'll squeeze your abs during working out and you'll also work on that body fat. And that's how you get abs, my friend. All right, hopefully this was helpful, folks. If it was helpful, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button.